The topic for discussion is now buying motives. Behind every sale, there is always a buying motive. That motive is never merely known, merely to own the article on question. It is always the prospect believe that ownership of the article will satisfy some specific desire on his part. So motive is an inner state that that moves or prompts a person to action. A motive may be defined as a drive, an urge, for which can individual seek satisfaction. It becomes a buying motive when the individual seeks satisfaction through the purchase of something. Buying motives, they are influences or considerations which provide the impulse to buy, induce action or determine choice in the purchase of goods and services. Now, how many types of buying motives we find? Physical, psychological and sociological buying motives. Psychological buying motives are related to the satisfaction of basic human needs for subsistence such as satisfaction of that need or food, shelter and clothing and security. Psychological buying motives relate to need for prestige, for self-preservation. Sociological buying motives are related to motives that exist on at present and is expected in the social situations. Now, acquired inherent buying motives are learned motives influenced by environmental factors. They are related to socio-economic conditions and level of education, economy, information, work efficiency, profit facility, quality, beauty, fashion, social prestige, uh, acceptance, etc. The inherent buying motives are present in a person from his birth, so it belongs a basic human instinct, whereas the acquired buying motives are concerned with the environment. They are influenced by hunger, thirst, sleep, leisure, security, playing, entertainment. Primary and selective motives are general demand for product and not the specific uh, demand for the specified product. The demand for radio, TV, car, motorcycle, they all fall under primary motives. Now, selecting buying motive influence a particular specific brand. For instance, demand for Bajaj, Chetak, Scooter, Onida, TV, Philip, Radio, like that. Now, consciousness or dormant buying motives. They are the motives which are identified by buyer without any help from making functions like advertisement, personal selling, promotional too. So, conscious buying, it influences that satisfaction of presently existing needs of the customers and they shape within the subconscious of, uh, mind of the customers and not influenced by external environment factors. The dormant buying motives are silent motives and do not influence the buyers until their attention is invited by the marketing functions. Now, dormant buying motives are related with satisfaction of their needs which are created by marketing functions. So a consumer does not possess the knowledge of such needs without persuasion. Rational and emotional buying motives, they are more uh, uh, emotional than rational. So he takes rational or economic buying decisions for availing at least some of the following merits. If it is a good design, economy and uh, product, uh, product quality, product use, and simple to operate, uh, uniformity in the product, or saving of time, or the product is more profitable, uh, and the consumer, he has confidence on him, on the durability of the product. So emotional buying motives influence a person to purchase certain good or service, not because of its rationality, but because of his emotion. So, like, uh, to make, some motives are like maintaining uh, health, security, better living, power of satisfaction, ego needs, mm, maintaining good image in the society, adjustiveness, curiosity, love and affection, habit of purchasing or collection of 
some goods uh, desire to achieve economy desire to do creative activity consciousness desire to be praised by others desire to be seen good and attractive to be seen so all these are uh, emotions now emotional buying also includes self preservation affection uh, utility fashion prestige comfort variety uh, vanity admiration admiration um, and uh, health uh, habit monetary feeling uh, monetary feeling sex confidence convenience curiosity urge to create or develop a hobby of purchase and relaxation a sense of organs uh, gratification like uh, touch taste smell sl- sight hearing and jealous all this all this mm. now patronage buying is uh, the this motive uh, it is physical psychological features of the product like design colors size package quality and price patronage motive influences a person to purchase the product of a specific seller a dealer or a producer if a customer is satisfied with the product of a specific seller or producer he prefers to buy only those products of that seller and manufacturer so certain because of certain advantages or home delivery like uh, goods purchased at reasonable price or location uh, etc some uh, some good will um, by demonstration of the product or decoration in the shop or good behavior of the seller or some of the reasons where pattern is buying take place so why buying motives are to be understood to maintain the marketing um, uh, mix at a stable and uh, to make such a salesmanship at a success uh, the uh, study of uh, buying motives is um, important so uh, success in salesmanship it happens through the re- uh, study of knowing of buying motives of the customers some basic knowledge about their motives which make which will be available uh, while purchase of their uh, goods or services so customer choice in the price quality or any other specification now um, buying motive study also helps to facilitate product planning so uh, by way of using appropriate color design you know, size package price etc so the product in accordance with the consumer uh, preference now uh, it also facilitate the price of the product knowledge about uh, buying motive is uh, helpful in fixing the price of the product so emotionally oriented consumer he may be prepared to pay even high prices whereas knowledgeable consumer he will be prepared to pay reasonable price only so uh, uh, every sales organization it needs to have produce promotional materials like uh, advertising sales promotion personal selling publicity to increase the sales so to have the knowledge of the buying motive of the customer marketing manager will be able to select appropriate promotional tool now it also facilitate in distribution of channels buying motives uh, they help to purchase products from the wholesalers so this may be due to the facilities extended by the middleman to their customers now it creates goodwill also uh the customers create a brand loyalty towards products and certain producers so it is the consumer behavior that creates goodwill of the firm and its products so efforts to make uh, change in buying motives efforts can be made of learning uh, from buying motives a customer to bring a change in the uh, buying motive or if the behavior of the seller is very good certain customers may be likely like to purchase goods from him only thank you